So good morning, everyone. Soon to be afternoon. My name is Edward, and uh, I would like to welcome you all to our live vehicle demonstration today. Bonjour à tout le monde. Je m'appelle Edouard, et je vais vous servir de maître des cérémonies pendant cette démonstration de véhicules militaires. Now, we would like to acknowledge that the land on which this museum stands is the traditional unceded territory of the Algonquin Anishinaabe. This land has been inhabited by them since time immemorial uh, and bears a great deal of significance historically, spiritually, and in many other ways. The museum acknowledges and honors the continued presence of the Algonquin nation. And I personally like to express my gratitude for having the opportunity to live and to work here. La terre sur laquelle se trouve notre musée est en fait le territoire traditionnel et non cédé de la nation algonquine Anishinaabe, uh, qui habite depuis la nuit des temps. Uh, en fait, elle a une très grande signification uh, sur les plans historiques, spirituels et de plusieurs autres façons. Le musée reconnaît et honore la présence continue de la nation algonquine sur ces terres. Et à titre personnel, j'aimerais exprimer ma gratitude pour l'opportunité que j'ai de vivre et de travailler ici. Now, when the vehicles start coming up, you will have the uh, list hey, well, which going. you can access either through the QR code that you jumping on. Wasn't sure was going to do this. The place so, uh, there, or there if you prefer a physical copy which you can obtain from the table being proved by uh, my colleague over there uh, and in that there will be like I said a list of the vehicles and each vehicle has a color code assigned to it so as they come up I will announce the name of the vehicle, uh, as well as hold up a card indicating the corresponding color, just in case you can't hear me, because, uh, well, you know, the motors are pretty loud. So, uh, en fait, uh, si vous voulez un liste de tous les véhicules que... Something's going to be repeated twice. twice. Mm -hmm. Il, well, uh, que vous pouvez accéder avec une tonne so que vous pouvez uh, 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 Mais si vous préférez uh, une tonne de la il y en a aussi uh, à la table, auquel so okay, okay, se here. trouve uh, hey, George, mon collègue nice en ce moment. Uh, donc quand les véhicules vont uh, arriver, je vais annoncer le nom du véhicule, ainsi hill. que la code couleur qui correspond qui vous permettra de trouver le véhicule dans euh, le, le guide euh, afin d'avoir un peu plus d'informations là-dessus. Now, we would just like to mention that you will not necessarily see every single uh, vehicle that is in that guide on any individual uh, demonstration. What you will see will be a selection of the vehicles uh, which will be sort of rotating uh, per the judgment of the collection staff throughout our event today. Uh, donc, uh, il est possible que ce ne soit pas tous les véhicules What's wrong with the camera? Dans, sur le liste uh, qui uh, viennent ici uh, pour cette démonstration en particulier. Ce sera en fait une sélection uh, choisie par uh, le personnel de, des collections uh, qui uh, doivent uh, faire une rotation dans les véhicules au fil de la journée. And finally, once, it, uh, once the vehicles have uh, finished their drive-by, they will uh, in turn park right up here, and you will then have the opportunity, if you so desire, to come down and speak to uh, the drivers, to yes, indeed, our George, interpreters, for the channel, and perhaps even to some of the volunteers we have here, and get uh, even more information. But we will ask that you wait until all of the vehicles nice have story. come nice. safely to a stop and turned off before you come down. Donc, uh, à la fin de la démonstration, qui durera de, de 20 à 30 minutes, 
I uh, forgot to mention in English, uh, that will be, it, it'll be about 20 to 30 minutes from when it starts yeah, it's to about 20 minutes. when it ends, and you can come and uh, speak may perk to them the drivers. On the fence. Uh, donc, comme j'ai dit, ça durera awesome. de 20 à 30 minutes, and oh, wow, well, well, you're looking at that, folks. We are getting started bright and early with the Ford Truck CMP prototype. Corresponds to the color yellow in your guide. C'est le camion fort prototype à CMP qui correspond à la couleur jaune dans votre guide. Et nous avons un round of applause pour le driver of the Ford truck. Donc pour terminer ce que je disais, euh, quand ils auront tous passé par ici, euh, en fait, euh, ils vont tous revenir se stationner juste ici, à côté de la barrière. Euh, et là, quand ils sont stationnés de façon sécuritaire, nous allons vous inviter, les curieux et curieuses, à venir parler aux conducteurs et conductrices, à nos interprètes, pour poser toutes questions que vous pouvez avoir et avoir oh, yeah, encore plus nice. d'informations. And here it's coming back again. It is the Ford Truck CMP prototype, corresponding the color yellow in your guide. C'est le camion Ford prototype CMP qui correspond à la couleur jaune dans votre guide. Much clearer in there. I don't have the guide with me. I left it in my car. Got more than enough uh, spare tires there, you know, in case anything goes wrong. But uh, trust me, they're in very good hands with these technicians. Sorry if the camera goes a little wonky, guys. Um, my gimbal's acting up lately. I think I have to recalibrate it. The next one should be up shortly. The prochain vehicle devrait arriver super. I see it trying to go. I'm trying to grab it. <laughs> I, uh, I don't remember him talking this much the first time. So I don't know what they'll be bringing out for sure. Scott, thanks for popping on. All right, folks, here we go. Here comes, comes the Universal Carrier, oh, which corresponds to the color red in your guide. Here it comes. Il s'agit du véhicule, one of my véhicule favorites. de transport de troupe qui correspond uh, à la couleur rouge dans over. votre guide. It's a little oh, slow today. Right. Uh, here we go, building up some steam. Go. Coming around. It may have its problems, but I still love it. Look at that turning. Gotta get a round of applause for the driver of the Universal Wait, Carrier. Doing EC Donuts. When was that in service? World War Two. Yeah. British Commonwealth.
Oh, uh, I, uh, so I appreciate uh, any questions you may have. As far as uh, answering questions, uh, there will be information provided uh, in the guide, of which you can have either a physical copy over at the table there, uh, or get a, um, a, uh, a so I better use my digital leg as a copy tripod. through the QR code there. Uh, uh, but any further questions uh, will be able to be addressed by either the drivers or our interpreters at Coming the back. end of the event. Uh, it's Ford. I, I think it's Canadian built. It was originally for mortars, mortar carrier. Uh, and then they decked it out with the wasp equipment. And here it comes again. And the now they changed the back. Universal carrier, which corresponds Struggle to the little red little. in your guide. The vehicle, the passport, the truck, the correspond and the Et voilà. Yeah, it certainly is, Scott. Yes, by all means, run for Go, you see, go. Alors, juste pour réitérer euh, ce que j'avais dit tantôt en anglais, uh, there's nothing uh, in it right si jamais now, vous avez des questions pour vos événements, uh, d'abord, uh, vous pouvez uh, voir si l'information est contenue dans le guide uh, qui est disponible en copie papier uh, là-bas uh, ou en copie numérique uh, avec mortar. le code QR que vous trouvez un peu partout. Uh, mais si cela ne répond pas yeah, à vos questions, uh, vous pouvez aussi les And poser uh, en the personne à la fin de l'événement. Uh, the links. And up next, we have the Lynx Mark II Scout Car, which corresponds to the color blue. Le véhicule de reconnaissance sur roue Lynx Mark II, qui correspond à la couleur, à la couleur bleue. It's a pretty tiny one. Can I get a round of applause for the driver of Ooh. the Lynx Mark II Scout Car? Uh, and I heard them the talking about earlier that one was in Italy. Museum is we also have the period appropriate helmets to go with the uh, yes. with the vehicles. C'est l'avantage d'être un musée, c'est qu'on a euh, en fait euh, la casque euh, qui correspond euh, à la période euh, d'où vient euh, le véhicule en question. Yeah, they're marked in the guide, so you know where you're looking at. I don't have my guide, I left it in my car. I bought some books, shocking. So I'm taking it in my car. <laughs> Didn't want to log in my car. And coming back around for a second pass, it is the Lynx Mark II Scout Car, which corresponds to the color blue in your guide. C'est le véhicule de reconnaissance sur roue Lynx Mark II, qui correspond à la couleur bleue dans le guide de Fourmi. It's got the core level uh, parkings on it. In the front and the back there. Doing a loop. <laughs> yeah, sorry about the camera, guys. I'm doing my best here. The gimbal's a little, uh, little wonky today. By all means, round of applause. I'm trying to use my leg as a stabilizer. <laughs> you may also have noticed, uh, incidentally, that the uh, the color code. Uh, there is also a um, a square of the color uh, uh, attached possibly. to the back to left I don't, I don't of know. each of the vehicles. I'm not really sure. I don't know how to drive standards. So. It comes a half track. We now move on to the M9A1 half track. Load it up. It corresponds to the color green in your guide. C'est le M9A1 half track. It corresponds to the color verte. Sorry, buddy. Fighting back. U.S. half drag, obviously. 
Can I get a round of applause for the driver of this mighty piece of machinery? Encore une fois, juste pour tout le monde, ce que je disais tantôt en anglais. Euh, si jamais euh, vous, vous ne m'entendez pas, vous, vous ne pouvez pas voir euh, la carte pour une raison euh, telle. Euh, il y a aussi euh, une carte affichée euh, à l'arrière, à gauche, sur chacun des véhicules, euh, qui vous permettra de trouver la couleur auquel correspond le véhicule pour le trouver. Let's see what's up next. Back on the gimbal. Hopefully it works for more than a minute. Ah, uh, yeah. It is once again the M9A1 half track, which corresponds to the color green in the guide provided. C'est le M9A1 semi chenier qui correspond à la couleur verte dans votre guide. And again, if you want to applaud, by all means, I assure you, the drivers very much appreciate it. Yeah, they do two circuits each. They have a limited number of vehicles operating. So it's just pretty cool. You can see it twice. Got some cool footage from the first one. We got close and down low kind of thing. It was fun. Like Welcome the for the M9A1 half track. The M9A1 half track. No tanks though. Yeah. No tanks. We'll have to run those things and restore them. Which is half the battle. Getting parts. A lot of them are just shells. Now we're moving and in post World War II. The Lynx reconnaissance vehicle, which corresponds to the color of brown. The Lynxer is a little louder. louder. Just listen to the motor on that thing. A little louder than the World War II. Can I get a round of applause for the driver of the Lynx reconnaissance vehicle? The big gun, the Hilkelis Lynx. No, definitely not. No sneaking around in that one. Not quite in the slightest. Especially when you get up any speed. I tell you, I hear something. Oh, oh, here we go. Coming back. And it is once again the links from the Honest Institute. Motoring. Come on, 
One of those Cold War carriers, right? Rapid missiles. Carriers and armored vehicles and that tanks. Gonna have some troubles. Yeah, it's a bit of a bummer. Didn't know that till I got here. Um, and the guide. I don't know if they put a new one each time. I don't know. I think this is the only one I can make. Can someone do me a favor and Google um, the SFOR for the UN missions? I'm not sure which one that one is. I think it's Bosnia. Camera off the top of my head. The markings on that last one. If you could look those up, that would be awesome. And coming back again for another pass. Here it's the M113A2. The TUA tow under our Sorry, everybody. The reason I have a gimbal is I shake so much, yes. so I kind of need it. We have coming up the M113A3 TLAV, which corresponds to the color orange. The M113A3 TLAV, qui correspond à la couleur orange. Yeah, I know it's the Balkans. I wasn't sure if it was a specific mission or just the Yugoslav. Generally, I can't remember. That's a good chunk of our popular memory in Canada. At least the late Cold War. Let me get a round of applause for the driver of the T-Lab. The F-Cold the T-Lab. Apparently they're just giving out these carriers all across the country now. A bunch of places place that I've never seen before. Museums all over. Getting these things up and running. Thanks for jumping on. Sorry we're having a bit of camera issues today. And my gimbal is in. I'm not sure what's left or what they're running. Uh, but they'll bring up at the end everything again. Because they'll line them up. And yes, folks, you do get seconds. It is once again the M11. 3A3 T-Lab, which corresponds to the color orange. The M R R 3 A3 T-Lab. This is the M113.
dust and the diesel coming up the hill. Oh, it's a massive thing. Just huge. It's one of the biggest ones I got here. Coming back. Problem that they didn't know they're using a crane. Hopefully, they're not gonna pick up a kid or something. I mean, that we will show you. I think they're gonna attack but this vehicle. Pylon or a bin or something. Is capable of with this egg. Avec cet oeuf, on va vous montrer justement de quoi est capable le ARV Lebar Taurus. Place an egg on a. Oh, oh the leg is egg is in the pylon. We are in the worst spot for this. There's an egg on the little pylon cone. You can't see if somebody's standing. Down there. Slowly, I'm scared to move. Carefully. I'm scared to move. Descend uh, lentement, de façon très, avec beaucoup de caution. I don't know if I can zoom in. I've never done it through the app before. This is a learning curve for all. There's an egg on there. Uh, Cook with the crane, now that would be impressive. So you can see, 
in the distance part of the hill. East Tower. There's a big point in the middle is the Beast Tower. And part of the back is the library. And the, the buildings over there is Quebec. And the Ottawa River is through those trees. It's a really nice spot in the summertime. Not so much in the winter. We're just getting things uh, lined up down there so that we can uh, bring all the vehicles back out so we can get a chance to come see them up close. Yeah, so they're going to bring them all back. To the and then park them. We're just in train to arrange so that we can bring all the vehicles and all the vehicles here so that we can talk to the conductor and the conductor. So, coming back track. once again, the M9A1 half track, which corresponds to the yep. color green yeah, in your right. guide, the M9AR semi-chevier. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, so this is really not cooperating today. It's like real gritty footage. Can I get another round of applause for our driver? Si vous voulez applaudir le conducteur du M9 à un semi-chenier. There you go, three one shot. Which is now joined by the Lynx Mark II Scout car, which of course corresponds to the color blue. Le véhicule de reconnaissance pour Lynx Mark II correspond à la couleur bleue. Suivi de red. The Lynx Reconnaissance Vehicle, the vehicle to help in its house, Lynx, run, run, and bring a pot on its heels. We also have the F1 of 382 TUN Tom Under Harbor, the MRR Club, and the Diraco Subnevez, followed so much noise. Here they all come down. Sorry about the camera issues. I apologize. Now, all you seekers after knowledge, I invite to come down and you can speak directly to one of the drivers, one of our interpreters, and get all the answers to your questions. Alors, les curieux, les curieux sont invités à venir en bas, s'entretenir avec un de nos conducteurs et nos conductrices et poser leurs questions à nos interprètes afin d'avoir toute l'information qui pourrait les intéresser. Yeah, they didn't bring the Ford back. Uh, they didn't last time either. Uh, apparently, I had trouble one of the times. So anyway, so you get the half track, the links, other links, and the carriers, and the uh, um, engineering. Here. So yeah, so that's it. So thanks for joining. Uh, last bit there. You can always go back and watch it again. Um, sorry again for the camera issues. My gimbal is not cooperating today. So I probably won't be doing any more live streaming because it's just too difficult. Uh, but thanks for watching. Uh, so tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, I will be... Uh... Oh, maybe they are, George. Sorry, yeah. I think you're right, George. Maybe they just don't have enough drivers. Because I was talking to them and they won't let the volunteers drive them anymore. It has to be staff. And I used to work here. So I ran into somebody I used to work with. And she was working with me on a project doing like public history stuff. So it was just like thrilling to drive vehicles now. Um, so yeah, anyway. So yeah, so thanks for watching tomorrow at 1 p.m. I have uh, Nathan Keeler on. From Project 44, uh, talking about their DEP uh, interactive story map. Uh, not even story map. Uh, we'll explain all these different concepts tomorrow because I've been working for them a long time too. 
um, about that. So it's an interactive map, digital mapping. Uh, it's interactive, it's amazing. Uh, I saw an early version, some of you may have. Uh, so 1 p.m. Eastern time. So come hang out, uh, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about DEP, um, kind of what Nathan's done with the Project 44 and everything. Um, so yeah, come hang out tomorrow for another live stream. That one won't be as shaky because it'll be in my house with my new webcam, which my patrons and uh, YouTube channel members help me get. So thank you for that. Uh, I may have to get a new gimbal now that this one's acting up. I'll try to recalibrate it later. Uh, but anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, come and hanging out. Uh, and if you're new, please subscribe and like the video. It helps more people see it. So please do. Uh, and like all the other videos as well, please. <laughs> uh, most recent one with David Curry. So if you haven't seen that one, go check it out. So uh, everyone, thanks for... Uh, everyone coming out so yeah so um so thanks everyone i'll see you guys next time bye everybody